powering system. Greetings, the internet. This is AJ, and welcome back to making your first Construct uh, 3 game. This is the third video, so if you haven't watched the other ones, I encourage you to go back and look at them. So uh, where we are now is if you press play, you can see our character. He moves around with WASD, and he shoots with uh, the arrow keys, just like how it is in The Binding of Isaac. Uh, so today we're going to go over a quick enemy type. Now there's a million different ways to do enemies. Uh, I want to do this one specifically right now uh, to show you guys a little bit um, more of using functions inside of construct, like built-in functions. And I'll explain what those are in a second. Um, so first of all though, let's start with making a new object. And let's make it a sprite. And we can put that down, change it to 16 by 16. And uh, let's see, we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw a, that's not dark enough. We're gonna draw a, a dude. He's actually gonna be, um, a pirate, what kind of, what do pirate hats look like? All right, he's a pirate. Um, he's got a parrot on his shoulder. Yep, that is a parrot. Uh, he's, he's wearing green because green is toxic. And and, uh, and I'm spending way too much time on this. Okay, cool. So there's our pirate. <laughs> um, some high quality pixel art occurring. Um, so what we want to do for this pirate is when our character Ryan is in uh, range of him, we want him to start moving towards him. Um, and we want it to stop at uh, a certain range around him. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do 100 pixels, I think. So the way we're gonna do that is use a behavior that I don't use enough, but is uh, really, really useful. So let's click on our character. Actually, let's rename him really quick. And we're gonna name him uh, John, as, as in Long John Silver. Um, let's click on John, go to our behaviors, we're going to add a new behavior, and we're going to go down over here under general to line of sight. Uh, now line of sight um, in code draws a kind of halo around your character if you have it at 360. If you want it just to be a cone so that you could do kind of a stealth game, you could give it like 45 and it'll just do like a 45 degree angle compared, uh, compared to where he's facing. And in this case it actually would be this way because again, zero is to the right. Anyway, so let's make this cone back to 360 and we want our range to just be 100 pixels around. Uh, so that's kind of close uh, considering how small this layout is. Um, so yeah, 300, that, and use collision cells. We're gonna leave that there for right now. You don't have to, um, you don't have to really worry about that right now. Uh, so yeah, so now that we got that settled, let's go to our event sheet and we're gonna add an event and we're gonna go over here to uh, Ryan, no sorry, we want to go to John, and we want to go to has LOS to object, and LOS just stands for line of sight, and the LOS we're doing is going to be Ryan. Cool, so again, what is this saying? Is John in view of Ryan? And that's pretty much all there is for that. Now this obviously does nothing, so we have to add an uh, action, and if we go to add action, we're gonna click on John, double click, in fact, and we're gonna go down to angle, size and position, and we're gonna go to move at angle. So move at angle does what uh, you'd think it does. It moves our character at a specific angle. Now, how do we know what angle to move? Well, like it's easy to say, like just move at the angle, you just move towards this character, but we want to move him at the specific angle between him and, and Ryan. So the way we do that is we use a built-in function called angle. So let's, Click on John again. I, I moved out. You don't have to. If you have already at the move at angle, don't do this again unless you exited out of it, which I guess I understand. So we're going to use a function. Uh, we're going to use a function, and I want to show you some other functions that are a little bit more easy to understand. For example, uh, there's a function called round. So if you just start typing round, you'll see it comes up with this little uh, this little gear next to it, and that means that it's a function. So if you you double click on it. Now that doesn't do anything. You actually need to add a parenthesis. And the parenthesis, um, inside the parenthesis are your parameters for your function. So in this case, round number, you could say like 15.4 and it would round that number down to 15. You could even do 15.4 plus 3.6 times 90 and it'll do all that math and then round that number to the nearest round number. 
So that's really a really interesting thing you can do. I encourage you to kind of look through these. If you just type any letter, you can see everything that kind of comes up. There's all kinds of stuff, sine, tan, things that you probably learned in calculus if you took it. Um, and then there's like uh, uh, pi and there's all kinds of stuff. We're going to be using angle. So if you type in angle, press enter, we need to put the parenthesis and we want to insert the four parameters. And in this case, it's our first object, x and y, and then our second objects, x and y. So what we want to do is we want to go to John dot x, right? And then that takes John's x. That's the first parameter. John dot y is the second one. And then Ryan dot x is the third, and Ryan dot y is the fourth. Now the reason we want to do John first is because it's going to check the angle that he's moving towards and you want him to be moving towards Ryan. So it's starting here and it's moving towards Ryan, if that makes sense. So the distance we want to do is 0 0.5 I think is a decent distance and uh, again I hope uh, this made sense. I really want you guys to be uh, used to using uh, typing a little bit more. There's a lot of um, a lot of advanced things you can do with Construct if you uh, stay unscared of writing a, out a little bit of code. Cool, so yeah, so basically that should be it actually. Let's see, let's play the game. And as you can see, if I move, I can't get out of his line of sight. But if I move out of his line of sight, he stops. If I move into it, he moved towards me. And, uh, and we can't shoot him just yet. That'll be in the next video. For now, I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to get this uh, working. Cool. So uh, I hope that was informative. Um, actually, before we leave, let's just add a group real quick and call this enemies and put John in there. And then actually, let's make a sub event, sub group of this, and we'll call this John. And we'll, if in case we want to do more stuff with John specifically, why can't I move there? Okay, now I can. Okay, cool. So that way you can close all this up and not have to look at it. All right, so that's basically it for today, and uh, I hope you guys have a successful rest of the time in between now and watching my next video. So good luck, and uh, I'll see you on the other side.